everyone welcome back to the leadership series you know uh, as you know this is the 15th anniversary and we are taking we have hand picked uh, chosen leaders and today we have mr sunil layer managing director from sony india so it is great to have you back uh, in fact thanks for the time to being at the show and you know and during all this time when there's pandemic etc is very important to have leaders talk to us and talk to the audience and how they have been doing so my first question what has been the learnings in the pandemic Thank you so much, Ramesh. First of all, inviting me to this forum today, and I really am obliged and deeply honoured to be all of uh, you know to be with all of you today. And uh, yeah, pandemic has been very interesting, actually. I'm telling you, it it is the most interesting journey in at least in my career for last 25 years, I would say. It really, it it really taught us a lot, and I think everybody's patience, perseverance. and mental strength was tested correct you know while at home how do you you know manage yourself first to yourself and then how do you manage you know people yeah. and the resources overall uh, you know of course i i'm i'm so sorry for people who have been impacted let me be very sure. frank uh, sure i'm amazing i'm really sad for everybody because you know some uh, like yeah people who lost lives people who lost livelihood you know i i'm deeply deeply i i feel for them actually yeah this should not have happened sure. but it happened right and, and we had to encompass you know embrace it and being at the you for know sure. position that you are in at the helm of sony india i'm sure there must be a lot of morale boosting for the team motivation because you know apart from uh, business being down and everything there's so much of mental things that everybody has gone through so some I incidents understand. that you had or something how did you like motivated and pepped up the people with us so yeah. I, i think thanks to the digital world if india did not have an infrastructure for this digital digital you know communication i don't think so we will be talking like this today sure sure it sure it was best thing was we were i was able to communicate with my team and uh, you know communicate with them nicely right o- o- and and persistently over a period of time and uh, try to give them hope try to give them you know a uh, a uh, kind of a new vision and direction and how we should adapt to this very challenging climate a uh, sign of a good leader is when he is you know applauding his team because a leader is nothing without a team you know honestly speaking and yeah 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 uh, absolutely just to add to your point in fact i believe in fact we have written a letter to the pmo that April and month should be cut from the 2020 calendar. In fact, 2020 Absolutely. should be cut. It should not be the year <laughs> where you pay taxes <laughs> when you do anything. But I mean, just on a lighter note, but some leadership mantras or you know some inspirational. So everybody goes back to something which inspires them to you know keep moving going forward. Because at the top, there's only one managing director of Sony. That's you, right? So who inspires you? Where you draw inspiration from? Books. and so ethics and integrity you can you can kind of you know bucket it in the same way now second is uh, insight insight you know insight is i would say a uh, vision it i it is not taught it is something which is within you and you some day explore it some some day you explore it so i think vision is the most important thing i'm truly inspired by my ceo yujira san today i mean i really respect his grand vision for so you know brand sony and uh, yeah that he is my true inspiration actually insightful and vision is the number two big thing and the third biggest thing is uh, uh, inclusivity inclusiveness sorry you know yeah. you are not you right you are we yeah. that's how it is right so sure. you you take everybody along so that's inclusive i think if somebody you know it's easier said than done i mean you you can have hundreds of lectures on it everywhere but believe me practicing it is hard and as i said everything is comes from inside and then translates into you know your your environment your people it's already rubbing off i'm uh, you spoke what have you spoke you spoke from heart it completely shows because when i rewind when i go back to the month of march you know when we are all going on us in this pandemic lockdown april month even i run a business so i know i have got 55 people not 1000 people but i i was like i don't I know what to do 
and I had to we had to stay afloat. We had to show people that listen, nothing, everything is wrong. But deep inside, I don't have an answer. I don't even know what is going to be tomorrow. Fifteen days ke baad mein, what will happen? It was very, very difficult. difficult like what man. you said, what you said from heart is actually very, very good. I'm sure people who are watching this will take a lot of learning because I don't think uh, it's all come from the heart. So great. Now I'm going to ask you one question, uh, which you may not answer, but what is that one gadget that you use that you don't want your CEO at Sony to know? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. It's a tricky one. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, this is something very, very really interesting. Point. So we call it we call it a TRP question, you know, TRP question. <laughs> So you use a Sony AirPod. Oh, that's a difficult one. <laughs> no, no, I am not. I am not talking about any physical gadget because I don't think so. I want to hide any physical gadget from my boss in Tokyo, you know. Because every, I mean, and I, I'm not a very t- kind of a tech freak, uh, Vijay. I, I'm not. Uh, okay. I just use a n- nice phone. Like I have an Android phone, and I use sometimes uh, Kindle, and uh, of course laptop. I think that's about it. I, I I'm not a very tech, you know, this thing. So I think it's beyond gadget. It's like, it's uh, you know, we we ourselves are a big gadget. A <laughs> 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 so very, very, booting and rebooting. <laughs> yeah, 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 booting, yeah. rebooting, downloading and uploading. Exactly. <laughs> we we are the biggest, the... largest. Most complicated gadget on this planet, you know. <laughs> Human being. So, I think, uh, I think maybe yeah. So that that should always come as a surprise for others. That uh, who are you, you know, those kind of things. So right. maybe that's the what that's what I can think about. Otherwise, I don't have anything to hide. In terms of productivity apps, you know, as a like, do you have do you use some to do list or what enhances you because you know time is of essence. So do you use like for example, do you use an Evernote? Or to do list or any other app where you write down. I don't need an Evernote or a some <laughs> gadget to, you to know, write down my list. things. At best, what I do is I believe in writing. So I have a notebook. I just jot down ten points, five points, twenty points to do something like what you showed me. <laughs> yeah. So, so still, you know, still kind of semi uh, techy and half analog. <laughs> I'm not a very techy techy guy, you know. so I, I I'm still you know kind of kind of good part of both worlds. Now, from a Sony, which uh, which segment in Sony contributes to the biggest to the you you know contributes the most big the biggest fashion to the pie? Like, is it the TV? Is uh, it the... I I think televisions. Televisions, needless to say, is uh, more than fifty sixty percent now, and then followed by audio. Audio is becoming bigger by the day. Then followed by digital imaging. That's also pretty big. Now these oh, three comprises of kind of largely the chunk of the business from as far as consumer electronics is concerned. And then uh, of course uh, we have PlayStation, and we have professional products, and we have car audio, car entertainment. So all in all, yeah, I think television comprises the largest okay. chunk, and that's the kind of spine of our business, most important. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, as I said, audio has been growing very aggressively in the last two, three years. Sure, sure. Now you talk, spoke about PlayStation, and the PlayStation Two was thought as the first ever entertainment, you know, which could also display, play games. Do you see, do you see it returning back in a full VR avatar? Do you think that will come, the PlayStation? Well, I, I think, I think, lots of changes happened as far as PlayStation is concerned during this COVID time. Sure, sure. You know everybody was at home, right? Yeah. So you have to use your mind, right? Not every time you can be on Netflix, or you know, I mean, I should not say with your family 24 hours, right? You need time for yourself. So that's that what sense. people, especially youngsters, explored this COVID time. Believe me, we oversold all PlayStation consoles this time. Right. I never witnessed this kind of a demand. So PlayStation is going to be, you know, kind of a new culture. New way of life as we move forward, and as you know that uh, we have something very. You must have uh, heard about PS5, right? Yes. So PS5 yes. is the absolutely new, you know, concept of gaming, which uh, Sony is, uh, you know, kind of already launched in, uh, you know, some parts of the globe, 
and I think very soon you will see it in India. Uh, a lot of VR is being used in gaming also in other things also. Do you think we do we do we see more of more VR coming in other like for example Sony TVs you know maybe use of AR or VR bundle in anything like that coming up? I don't see television relationship too much with the VR thing. Right. Television will still remain kind of a you know family oriented Netflix yeah. Amazon video oriented kind of a product with the uh, you know people watching in new. Different screens like OLEDs, you sure. know, like uh, LCDs or better sure. technology because I want to see the best of picture and sound or hear sure. the best, you know, see the picture and hear the sound, right? Sure. sure. So, where is going to catch up? Where is going to catch up, but of course, it will have its own universe. Yeah. So, which is, uh, I mean, very different question. Which is one Sony product that you think Indians can make best use of it? Okay, so you know, of course, most of the Indian people love most of my Sony products. Yeah, that's because Sony is a that's favorite. Not a political, yeah, Sony is a household name. But I think, I think people, if you ask people, immediately the relationship comes with television. Correct. So correct. you 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 name the brand. Everybody, I think, I think maybe eight out of ten or maybe nine out of ten will say oh, Sony TV. Yes, Sony TV. You you know right. Yes. So yes. that's how we are in the minds and hearts of Indians. I'll just give you one insight. Whenever people, I'm just recollecting. Whenever my friends and people ask us, we reference ki, you know, which uh, TV should I buy, Sony or something else? <laughs> they ended. They ended like that. It's an honest. I think it's, you know? it's it's a no-brainer. You should tell them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a no-brainer. <laughs> It's a no of course, It's I, a Sony. <laughs> Sony. You know that this, this word is uh, enough, right? This yeah, word, it's this a... is enough. It's a Sony. Uh, I think we are at the end of the question and answer session, and a couple of questions less. But just uh, just want to understand your perspective. You know, Elon Musk recently said that the neural implant and you know the way the technology is evolving. We might have screens embedded in our eyes. So what happens? Do we get Sony eyes that time, or do we get something else? I <laughs> Is there a work oh in that God. direction? <laughs> so, so you know, of course, I, I I can't comment on those kind of details. Neither do I know much about it. That's a fact okay. also. But one thing is for sure, Sony as a corporation, uh, I think they are working very aggressively in the field of artificial intelligence. Yeah, of course. And uh, you know, you know, very high end. Uh, 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 you know, sen uh, sensing technology, right? Those, those uh, chips. Yeah. So we have the most evolved, you know, uh, uh, imaging chips in the industry. I think Sony has a lots of patents when it comes to most advanced, the you know kind of uh, uh, you know they call it. Uh, I think uh, yeah, imaging. You know, for the senses, for the for the. Uh, you know, imaging, the, thermal uh, processing, uh, imaging, and uh, you know those. Uh, you 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 know the, about these cars, right? The uh, autopilot cars. Yeah, like, Sony uh, launched like a, a concept uh, concept car in CES. I was there. Yeah, it was mind yeah, blowing. Yeah. I actually saw that car there physically at CES. So you you, you saw right? Unbelievable. So I think, I think we are we are taking big leaps as far as this technology is concerned, and I believe it will have somehow. Some relationship with what you asked me, sure. because uh, I think I think Sony is very aggressive when it comes to uh, you know this kind of uh, imaging sensing technology for especially for auto automobiles. We are at the end of the segment. I just wanted to ask one last question: Was that Sony makes amazing products? You know, all your products have been super successful globally. Mm -hmm. You're a brand to recall. Of course, it has gone through a share of challenges, ups and downs, part of history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, it's a company which is born out of the World War II. So now, smartphones somehow, it's not really picked up. What would you think? Is there a plan of coming back in the space? Or you think the space is so crowded that, you know, Sony as a global mandate is not really taking up some space? Like a now, uh, mobile phone is now being focused in a few countries only, right? Right. So right. Sony is trying to uh, develop a very viable, sustainable, Profitable business model for mobile phones. Okay, okay. So you must have read in the last, uh, I think, couple of months, we have been launching state-of-the-art 
cutting edge technology mobile phones uh, in Europe, in the United States, everywhere, right? especially uh, yeah, in Japan also, right? That's so, right. Yes. You know, so so we have the technology. You know, uh, mobile phone basically has a audio video technology, right? Right. And, and of both course the software. And both you and have. we have the best of both worlds, right? Exactly. So the only thing is, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I think they are they are now uh, kind of in the process of revamping the business model and the structure itself. Okay. I would say even experimenting. And once everything is over, there is no way that we can stay away with mobile phone. That's what I can tell you. That was it, guys. That was Mr. Sunil Nayar from Sony. Thank you so much, Sunil. It was a very, very, really heart touching conversation because I truly feel that you spoke from your heart more than you from your mind. Because also, I'll, I'll quote because these questions were not shared with him. I have just asked him on the go and he wasn't prepared. And that's what oh, makes the conversation. Some of them you really uh, <laughs> held me back, you know. 